Hi everyone, welcome back to Trini Kids TV. And if this is your first time, hi and welcome to our circle time. Now let's get started by singing our good morning song. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you too. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you too. And a very good morning to all of our friends that are watching. Now, do we know what day it is today, friends? Well, we are almost done with the very first week of our school term. And if yesterday was Wednesday, what comes after Wednesday, friends? Do we know? Well, let's sing the seven days song and we will figure it out. Ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very good. So, after Wednesday comes Thursday. Yes, today is Thursday. And we are in the month of September. Yes, so let's say the months of the year together. Ready? The months of the year are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Can you believe it? We're almost at the end of 2021. Yes, we are in the year 2021. Did you know that? Yes. So, let's talk about the weather today. I know yesterday we had some interesting weather, right? So, Let's sing the weather song and find out what our weather is like today. Ready? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today, today? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Well, now we can look out those windows and see what kind of weather we are having today. Well, it looks as though we might still need to carry an umbrella. Yes, it's a little rainy today. Now, let's talk about our shape of the day what's our shape of the day today well take a look yes our shape of the day is an oval and i'm sure you can find some things at home that might be shaped like an oval remember an oval is sort of like a circle but it's more shaped just like an egg yes so if you look in the refrigerator you might find an oval very good now let's talk about our color of the day well our color of the day today is the color purple yes and i'm sure there are lots of purple things that we can think of um an eggplant is purple yes a bygone or a melon gem that you might call it is purple maybe your favorite shoe is purple Maybe your nail polish is purple. Yeah, there are lots of things that are purple. Let's talk about our letter of the day. Our letter of the day today is the letter that comes after the letter C. What comes after C, friends, in the alphabet? Yes, D. D is our letter of the day. And can we think of some amazing words that might start with the letter D? Well, there's dance, D for dance, D for dog, D for down, D 
for Daniel, that's a boy's name. There are lots of words that we can think of, but start with the letter D, right? Very good, friends. Now that we know our letter of the day, let's talk about our area of the day. And for that, we need to jump in our boat and sail around the world. What's our area of the day today? Our country of the day is Dominica. Dominica is a lovely country in the Caribbean and they are known for natural hot springs and natural rainforest. Yes, it's a beautiful island. Now my friends, I think it's that time again. Yes, today we are going to be talking about all the things that we learned about so far for this first week. And we're going to make something really fun. We're going to make something that we can communicate. And once we make that, we can go and tell our friends, especially on our Zoom chat or wherever we might be having school. Or you can tell Auntie what you have learned so far for this school week. All right. So don't forget to join us for craft time where we will create our craft microphone so that we can talk and tell our friends what we've learned so far now let's get started by making our megaphone here are the list of things you would need to get started a paper towel roll a foil roll glue scissors and some paper to decorate so the first thing you're gonna do is cut your paper towel roll in half then take those halves and cut them down the middle like this. Then you glue the rows together to make your cone or cup like shape. If you have a cup you can skip that. Cover it with paper and draw the hole where you would put your foil roll and it should look like this. Then you can use your colorful paper to decorate your roll. If you don't have colorful paper use crayons. And this is what I did so you see I have the roll cut out and put them together and that's it you're done with your megaphone now you can tell your friends what you learned for this week all right my friends our physical activity today is making bubbles or blowing bubbles now you can use a little pipe cleaner if you have one auntie doesn't have one so i'm improvising i'm using what i have at home so you may have these twist ties from your bread bag or um other bags a garbage bag so you're going to just use this and i'm just going to connect them together i have a couple here and i'm just going to create a circle so that I can attach these and then I'm going to try and blow my bubbles. Now all you would need for your bubbles is just a container with soapy water. So you're going to use some squeezy, you're going to use some dish soap and add it to a little bowl with water so that we can test, oops, so that we can test out our little bubble blower, okay? So, I've just finished making my little circle here. All right. With my twist ties. And I have a little bowl of water right here. So, let's try it and see if we get some bubbles, right? Ooh. Wow. Isn't that fun? So, I hope you enjoyed this activity at home. Woo! All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. And don't forget, tomorrow is Friday and that means that we are gonna be having cooking Friday. So that means that we're gonna make something delicious to eat, right? Are you excited? Well, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Don't forget to share this video with a friend and I'll see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.